Go ahead. Okay. Um, so what are some of your core beliefs of your religion? Well, the main, first of all, Scientology, the word. Scientology, it comes from two words, skio and logos, study of knowledge. Okay. Skio, knowledge. Logos, study of. And it's knowing how to know. It's a practical religion, in other words. You know, you could say, you know, you are this or you are that or so and so, do this or do that. But in Scientology, what it is, you apply principles to life. Okay. And, you know, that's how you resolve situations. Um, we believe that man is a spiritual being, that you have a body and you have a mind, but you yourself are a spirit, that you're seeking to survive, or men are seeking to survive, man and woman. Um, and, uh, you know, <coughs> that's, you know, that's the main core thing, is that you're seeking to survive. So. Uh, whenever a person does something, they usually do it out of the thought that this is going to help me survive. Now, <clears throat> we divide it up, in Scientology, we divide up that urge to survive into eight different sections. It's all one, but it's really divided up into eight so we can understand it better. Okay. Um, and the first urge, or dynamic we call it, is towards yourself. You know how how um, you know to survive as yourself as an individual, the things that you like, the things you want to do, that kind of thing. So that's an urge. Then there's a second dynamic, which is the urge to survive as a family through sex and the raising of children. That's divided up. And then the third dynamic is for groups. Uh, the fourth dynamic is for all of mankind. And the fifth dynamic is for life. Uh, you know, animals, trees, right? And then the sixth dynamic is for the physical universe, what you see around you, um, which we divide up into matter, energy, space, and time. And then the seventh dynamic is to survive as a spirit with other spiritual beings, considerations, thoughts, that falls in that. And then the eighth dynamic is the God dynamic, referred to in Scientology as infinity. So we don't, um, on the eighth dynamic, we don't tell a person, oh, you should be Christian, you should be Jewish, you should be this, you should be that. As a Scientologist, we say that you can, you can worship God however you choose, but until you understand fully what the seventh dynamic is, the spiritual dynamic, then you will understand what the eighth dynamic is fully. So we don't dictate how a person should worship God. Um, we also believe that as a spiritual being, you're manifesting in the physical universe in what's called affinity, reality, and communication, which is the heresy triangle. And that equals understanding. So uh, the, the, the principle works in different ways. You can tell from a person how, how much affinity, how much reality as an agreement they have, how much communication they, they put out there that they understand, you know, it equals understanding. And if you raise any part of that track, or any one part, all parts raise. Mm -hmm. So it can be used in personal relationships. It can be used in world relationships. The better a person is able to communicate, the more understanding, the more, or you can apply affinity to increase understanding, that kind of thing. And also it works the other way. If you hate, it decreases understanding. Those are some of our answers. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, what is your personal story behind it, or were you just born into Scientology? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Jamaica. Okay. Uh, I came, let's see, I'm uh, old enough to be a mom. <laughs> uh, I came here. I, I never heard of Scientology, and then I came to the States. I came to the States in uh, 1974. I came to go to school, to Howard University, Washington, D.C. And um, then after I graduated, one day somebody uh, sold me the book Dynetics, and uh, I got interested, never heard of it, and uh, went into a church of Scientology, and that's how I found out about it. And uh, then I decided to work for the church uh, in 1984. 
and I've been working for the church ever since. I was working for the church in Washington, D.C. up until 1997, and then I came here. This is our International Religious Retreat, which I'm sure Lizzie might have mentioned to you. It is the what? The International Religious Retreat. Okay. It is, if you, as a comparison, you might say it's our Mecca. That is, Scientologists will eventually come here because this is where all the advanced studies in Scientology occur. Um, and, uh, yeah, that sums up my personal story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what should others know of your religion? Well, again, we back, go back to that ARC triangle. Yeah. Um, it's a very broad topic. Um, but it's all denominational. Um, in other words, we respect other religions. We believe other people should respect religions. And that any civilization that denies the existence of God, a supreme being, or um, begins to work against religion is a society on its way out. We have a website, www.scientology.org. People can find out more about Scientology. They can see what Scientologists are like. There are about, there's like 50 different interviews on there with Scientologists, young, old, black, white, you know, Asian, whatever, or different businesses, whatever, so they can learn more about it. So the one thing I caution people to find out more because uh, when you don't understand something, then you can, other people can tell you things that might uh, deter you from full understanding. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, I'll give you the same thing that you find on the on the internet, or at least most of it on that website. I have a CD which I'll give you. Okay. Um, and then, what are some sacred time and objects? Okay. Now, um, we're not very ceremonial people. Okay. But I'll give you a. Uh, there is there is religious ritual in Scientology, but it's less ritual. There's less ritual and there is practical practicality. So, um, well, let me just explain it this way. The, the core, the main practices of Scientology are auditing, which is Scientology counseling, and training. It's about knowledge, right? So, uh, the knowledge is contained in the 40 million words that Mr. Hubbard wrote on the subject of dynamics and technology, and the 3,000 lectures he recorded. So there are courses that can take you through that. There's materials, uh, you know, the books. There, there are 18 basic books that cover those you know, the topic of dynamics and technology. Okay, so that's that. Those are the core things that we do. Okay. Okay. But we do have certain things, like Mr. Hubbard's birthday, March 13th, is something we celebrate. And we celebrate it with expansion. News of expansion, how far have we come, how 